I am about to do some renovating. I'm going to take my uh, office and take the mess of it. I'm going to change it around a little bit so it's a little more presentable, a little more uh, official and professional looking. Here's what it looks like when you enter in. I've got my workout equipment, my guitars on the wall. I've got some chairs that are strategically placed so that I can see the TV. I have my desk and all my office stuff and my keyboard. And as you can see, there's a mess on the floor. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I just haven't had a place to put any of that. And I have my albums and gift wrapping stuff and workout stuff and a radio. There's all kinds of junk in here. And then there's all the uh, musical equipment. I've got bags of chords and uh, tip jars and all kinds of stuff, foot pedals and all that and a PA system. And I've got a whole bunch of guitar cases all just kind of lined up over here. And uh, the idea is you're going to get to watch me fix it all up. So this half of the room at least is going to be remade. So I hope that you enjoy the results. you to my friend Tim Jones who is my handyman <laughs> gonna be fixing up my dowels and my guitar separators Is that kind of what you want? That's exactly what I want. No squirts, just a little dab, huh? I think. Once it goes in there, it kind of spreads itself out. Because the holes are a little pretty tight. So. Okay, we're getting some extra. Now that's my style. <laughs> I, once in elementary school, we had a craft thing where we got to build boats. I made myself a nice little wooden sailboat. Oh, yeah. And uh, called it the glop of glue because I had a <laughs> little tiny glop of glue that everybody knew about in it. But it gave it just the right amount of weight where I was the only one that won anything in the regatta. <laughs> That's funny that you say that because uh, in, in Cub Scouts, I don't know if you're ever... Oh, yeah, I was a Cub Scout. And they had those uh, car derby things. Uh-huh. And everyone else had all these fancy looking, you know, ones that were definitely winning on, on looks. 
but I had the one that was just heavy. It looked terrible, but it was just heavy enough that it went. It won the, the speed part. They're very similar to what you're saying. Yeah. Definitely didn't win on on looks. Actually, I was gonna. that little guy back. So you had that little chip. Now, from what I've uh, always heard, the definition of, or the difference between an apprentice and a uh, journeyman is that the journeyman knows how to fix his mistakes. <laughs> Fewer of them. Marks a lot. Yeah, exactly. At least it won't jump at someone from 50 miles away.
my house clean I can't ride a horse I can't win a chess game But I got no remorse Cause I can't love you I can't love you Well, you take away my hate and sin And open up my heart within the love of you I can't write a hit song But I got no regrets I've honed my skills I got the moves of the 68 New York Mets And I do love you I do love you What the Mets pulled off in 69 You do with me So I've a mind to love you Sometimes I'm so inept That I surprise myself Folks got so many things To say they think will help Laws and rules and disciplines To help me free my inner sins But I just turn to you And I yell help And I get it Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for taking part and helping me clean up my office. I am so glad that you were able to take part in that. I hope you had got a laugh out of it. Please remember to go to songguy.com, S-O-N-G-U-Y, and don't forget to sign up for the widespread crew. That's the crew that gets an email from me every so often. I try to uh, give them more exclusive access to me. Uh, to what I'm doing in my career. Uh, they're usually the first ones to know just what's happening. So I uh, encourage you to do that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I am at Nostrebor Music, N-O-S-T-R-E-B-O-R. Best way to remember that is it's Robertson backwards. So Nostrebor Music uh, on Instagram or Duggan Company on Facebook. Look forward to seeing you and talking to you some more. Bye-bye. I know this guy who's a chauffeur for this big record executive. He thinks my stuff's really good. My songs aren't polluted by commercialism like these guys. Come over after the show and I'll play some for you. I even met Jackson Brown's brother once and he likes my songs. But do you have any CDs out? I saw you at a concert. You were such a fine chick. I knew that loving you would be the ultimate trip. So I asked you your name and if you wanted to love me tonight. Sure, what kind of car do you drive? We went to my home and had a couple of beers. We talked about our hopes and all our dreams and our fears. And I knew our love was so real and it would last for a while. Loving together in our society. No ties, no bonds, and no permanency. Nothing forcing us.